My name's Dean Frost. I'm the uh, project lead at the GAMFAM charity. Uh, we provide support and help for people that are affected by gambling, you know, gambling harms. That's the gambler himself, or it could be a family member or a friend. We're not a clinical service. We're, we're a uh, lived experience uh, organisation of people that understand what others are going through when it comes to gambling harms or being affected by gambling harms. We run meetings for the gambler, the person that wants to stop gambling, but we also run and organise and structure meetings for the, for the affected others. So it could be family members, it could be a mum and dad, it could be a husband and wife or a partner or a bro brother or sister. We're all lived experience, so we understand that when people get in contact with us, we can resonate with them, we can relate to them, we can identify with them and hopefully we can give them some support and we know what they're going through. What really attracted me to GANFAM and working with Steve, it was a sort of an organic and a community and family and people led charity. You know, stopping gambling is just not stopping gambling. I think it's about me as an individual and others growing, developing, maybe looking at a little bit of self-discovery. We, we've, we've got the meetings. We encourage people to get to the meetings, but it's also running alongside the meetings. We've got a, a five-stage programme called the GRASS programme that helps people with self-development and, and, and understanding the problem. If anyone's struggling and they do get in contact with GAMFAM, whether through social media, through the website, so a gambler, they'd be put in contact with me. If they're an affected other, they'd put, be put in touch with Steve. So straight away, there's someone on the end of a phone, phone call to have a chat with that person. I think that breaks the barrier and, and makes them feel comfortable. First and foremost, when people come in our meetings, we want to let them know that they're understood. Um, I think it's a big part. You know, when I was gambling, I was standing in a betting shop for 15, 20 years on and off, thinking I'm the only one gambling the way I am. And I know that gambling's moved on now. People are gambling on their phone, maybe landed, laying under a duvet gambling, not even moving out of their bed. No one has to go to a betting shop anymore. So we try and make, make people feel understood. If they don't want to share, people don't want to share straight away, they can just come on and listen. There is hope, there is a, an opportunity to stop this if you want it badly enough. If you are watching this video and you're, you're, you're suffering from gambling harms, whether you're the gambler or you're an affected other, please feel free to reach out to GAMFAM. We're here to help, we're here to give you support on your journey of recovery.